Hello everyone and welcome to my March 2017 thrift haul. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying uh, new places for filming in a flat now and um, yeah, welcome to the cling. Welcome to the uh, absurdly fascinating view of my bedroom door. Let's start off with... Um, yeah, let's start off with media. When I saw these at the thrift shop, I had to get them because it's the first two seasons of Downton Abbey. Um, the thing is, I've never watched more than two and a half seasons of Downton Abbey because they kill off my favorite or one of my favorite characters uh, at the end of the third series and uh, I, I couldn't have that and also nobody, nobody could ever, ever be as adorable as Matthew and Mary in their horrible, horrible love story and I love them because Dan Stephen as Matthew is so wonderful and so confused by all the privilege he suddenly gets and also I kind of found him creepy uh, the first time I saw him because of those incredibly light blue eyes and um, Michelle Dockery is one of the most beautiful people on this planet in my opinion so um, sorry nobody will ever get to that level of uh, OTP for me. So I finally got those uh, and I've, I've already watched the first two seasons a few times and now I have them on DVD. And also I got a stack of magazines from, from the open bookshelf which is where you can just bring your stuff to read and then take stuff to read uh, just as you like to and it's free it's amazing it's an amazing concept if you have something like that near you make use of it put your books there instead of letting them rot in your basement it's so much better and I discovered so many great books through open bookshelves yeah these are one of those uh, back to country living uh, heirloom crafts recipes magazines um, daheim basically means at home in German really looking forward to have a look at those recipes and I am going to bring them back to the open bookshelf afterwards because I want other people to have a chance to read those too but I also bought books I bought them I think a day or two be before I got my uh, library card. It's called This House is Haunted. Um, it's basically a gothic novel from what I can gather from the back, um, which pretty much sold me on it. Um, and this one is named Sars Flux and it's about a, an orphan boy um, being followed by shadowy figures in London. I first read Circus Flux and this is why I first picked it up but um, it actually seemed interesting enough to read it anyway. Let's continue with Bling. Um, first of all I got this this wooden necklace. The light colored wood actually looks a bit like bone and I like that a lot. I actually made it shorter. It used to be much longer. Um, but now it's like this. Uh, it fits around my neck like this. It's a nice uh, everyday barbarian <laughs> piece, basically. This small Paris coin thingy. It looked so aged and weathered that I couldn't really um, pass it up. This amazing little pin which has actual dried flowers in it and it's so cute so I had to to get it um, oh and and of course I almost forgot it but it's basically the but it is the most important bling thing of this haul uh, is this steering wheel uh, pin my boyfriend got me 
um, we usually go thrifting together and he buys a lot of jewelry for one of his lab characters and uh, he saw this and looked at me and said they, we, we'll have to get this, right? Apropos nautical things. Um, let's continue with clothing because I got this says something about bandits in the front. It's it's a short sleeved uh, short sleeved jumper thingy. The front print isn't important anyway because I'm going to put a big patch over it. And I also got this, which is a um, basically the long sleeve version of this. Uh, of this jumper, it's a uh, the material is more lightweight and thinner, and uh, it fits really well, and I really like it. And I obviously like like this kind of white and or light grey and red stripes uh, because they remind me of what I call casual pirates. I got a pair of new suspenders to. They are also white with a red accent, um, but I am going to replace this plastic piece with leather for a more finished and more old-fashioned look. Because I, at some point I stopped wearing suspenders and that's really really sad because I like the things. I also bought this cute little uh, table mat thingy. It's not really big, but I really like the uh, the small flowers and the embroidery, it's obviously hand embroidered. Um, and I'm going to use this on a jacket or pullover or something as a patch. Um, maybe I'll, I'll stencil something in the middle, something that doesn't fit the flowers, something like a skull or something like a sword or things like that. And I also bought the most dainty and beautiful handkerchief I've ever seen. I mean look at this, it has it has butterflies. I have no idea to, what to do with that yet. Um, maybe use it as an accessory for Lolita or Dolly K or uh, use it for one of my lab characters. And I bought thimbles! They were in a pack of I think I think there was other stuff with in with them too but yeah I got five thimbles for crafting projects I have a few things I want to try with them they actually look weird uh, but yeah so uh, I, I got them for I think 50 cents for all of them at the same trip I also got this which is a really really small picture frame. I have a thing for miniature things. The uh, clipping that is inside reads 1972. Uh, it's obviously from some sort of newspaper. Think about turning it into a really large Dolly K pendant for a necklace. I have no idea what to put in there but maybe something pre raphaelite I also found this at the side of the road. If you're a LARPer, you know you don't pass on little flasks. Um, I got a container of these glass stones for crafting purposes. I am planning to make a um, backgammon board for my LARP group to play in-game. And I already have lighter ones also in yellow and those are a perfect addition for that. Um, and we're, we have arrived in the LARP part of the of the haul actually. Um, I also got this bottle which is perfect for self-infused rum projects and it also came with a cork which is great because we don't have too many of those. I got a small basket, not exactly for LARP purposes, but I liked it and it's kind of my aesthetic. 
and um, yeah, I got I got tools for my character. She is um, she has the arrow making uh, ability from the uh, from the few abilities you can choose for uh, Methodia, but mostly it's you can do whatever you can do or what you can pretend to do, and convincingly so. But um, yeah, she needed tools, and so uh, not not only um, arrow making tools, but also tools in general. And I got her these, and this one. Uh, yeah, they're really really heavy. Uh, you could probably kill someone with that if you tried to, but I'm not going to. Oh, I like tools. Uh, my boyfriend got tools from the same box at the same store at the same time for one of his characters or for, for his whole group actually. And they look kind of weathered and old and they're very basic and they don't have plasticky handles. So I'm really glad I found those uh, for I think 50 cents each. Um, you just have to know where to look. And last but not least, definitely from the LARP and my aesthetic <laughs> department, uh, is this mug thingy made out of wood. I mean, look at those patterns. It's really cool. Um, I have no idea if I use that for my character or for ritual purposes. Uh, I actually have an idea for ritual purposes for this thing for LARP. Um, not in my everyday rituals though. Uh, and yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's that's it. I hope you like this haul and uh, yeah, for more hauls, subscribe. Tell me in the comments which of the things I showed you today you liked most. Or tell me of your recent thrift finds or your favorite thrift finds recently. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!